this is Michael J. King. Today I'm showing you one of my Viking World Liars. This instrument is a hybrid creation uh, using the six string lyre combined with the Kravik lyre. So this has the string length of a Kravik lyre, the strength spacing in the strings, the seven strings, uh, the same tuning as the Kravik lyre. Uh, but what we have here is a small, smaller, compact um, version of the Anglo Saxon or Viking lyre uh, that was around the 5th to the 10th century. Uh, but fundamentally, this is pretty much an A tuned uh, lyre with an extra low string. And at the moment, this low string is tuned to an A, which gives a complete octave. And the rest of the notes are C, D, E, F, G, A. This particular instrument has a red cedar top, uh, which gives it a warmth of tone. Uh, again, matched with some black walnut back and sides. Uh, the inlay on here is some ancient Irish bog oak, about 3,600 years old. Uh, same here. Uh, the strings are fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon, when combined with a cedar top, um, gives a lot of projection, a lot of warmth of tone. On a maple top, you can get the same using gut strings or nail gut. Uh, this instrument is also available in a smaller size, uh, which I've deemed my travel lyre. It was it was designed to fit on a Ryanair flight, basically, so it's uh, it's less than uh, 500 millimeters long. So what we've done is shortened the scale length a little bit, uh, put ukulele strings on, some concert ukulele strings with a low G, um, and that enables us to tune at uh, a concert ukulele pitch um, and keeping the instrument small. Thank you.